we traveled halfway across the world to scope out some of the hottest solutions in CPU cooling coming to market in 2025. We're talking AIOs with big chunky screens. We're talking about budget conscious options that won't break the bank. And we even saw one that doesn't sound like a jet engine, but it looks like one. So join us on the journey because it all happens right here, right now on Robitech. We had the privilege of traveling to beautiful Taipei, Taiwan for an event that's a bit like Christmas for all of us in the PC DIY space. But rather than going in blind, we went in with a plan to scope out the next big thing in CPU coolers. And some of them are literally big. Now, some of these products we're gonna show you may not be 100% finished. Also, we have no idea how these coolers will actually perform, but don't worry, once we have them in hand, we'll definitely be testing them. So these aren't necessarily endorsements. We're just a bunch of PC DIY nerds who love geeking out over tech and we saw some interesting coolers. And if that's you too, pull up a stump and let's jump into the journey together, starting with an AIO that showed us a new way to do the twist. So imagine this, you want to have a floating screen in your PC, but you want to have a bit of control over how that works. Antec has you covered with this. This is the Vortex View. It has a 720p uh, IPS panel on here, 60 hertz display. And check, check this out. This thing can rotate. So if you want to change the viewing angle, you want to tilt it a bit, you can totally do that. The other thing that we really love seeing with AIOs like this is it's using an eighth gen Asetek pump. The mounting, whether you're using Intel or AMD, is super straightforward on these. So these are great, especially if you're a beginner builder that's trying to build like the most epic build that you possibly can. The mounting on these, fantastic. Speaking of fantastic, we saw an air cooler that, well, you just have to see it to believe it. Okay, so let's say that you're building your PC, you have to use an air cooler in your system, and you're like, I just wish this thing could look a little more fly. Well, our friends at Zalman actually have you covered. This is the Z5, and this thing literally looks like a jet engine, like so much so that on display here at Computex, they literally had it on the, the fin of a plane. But look at this thing inside of this case. The, the round design of it is just so unique and so beautiful that I, we're really excited about seeing how one of these things actually performs. But as we were listening to it, it didn't sound like a jet engine. So we're really eager to see what kind of builds we can put this into, because I'll tell you what, if air coolers can look this sexy, we're here for it. And you know what? We actually have a case in mind for the Zalman Z5, which makes an appearance in our PC case video, which if it's live, you can see it right here. Speaking of live, I love live music, whether that's going to concerts or rocking out myself. And with this next AIO, your CPU cooler becomes center stage. Okay, so Trikes is no stranger to putting on a show when it comes to AIOs. Last year, they stunned us with the panorama. This year, they gave us a front row ticket to the stage. This is kind of a bit of an inverted screen here. You still have two LCD displays where you can customize it, put in uh, your, your favorite animations on there, and hey, there's even a literal stage on here. So if you've got a miniature rock band, you can actually see I'm rocking out right there. Got my, uh, my Marshall cabinet going on there. Um, but if you want to switch things out and be a little bit more dastardly, you can do that as well. But Trikes didn't leave us without an encore. The following act put on a great show in its own right. All right, so we have an honorable mention here. It's not an AIO, but it is an air cooler from Triax. We have the Taurus air cooler here. So this thing is actually pretty neat. We've got a, uh, a five inch 720p display on this thing. And this fan up front is actually adjustable. In case you're worried about your RAM, the front fan does actually slide up and down on here. So you do have some room to adjust this thing Okay, so we didn't show off the Trikes Panorama because it got its time in the limelight last year, but this next AIO draws inspiration from it. So this AIO isn't on the market again, but again, remember, we're looking at products that are coming out later on this year or in the future. And this here is the Levante from XPG. Actually, it's the part of the Levante series. They have another AIO here too, that's a bit more budget friendly, but this here is kind of a premium edition. We've got both the 
Levante View 360 and the Levante View Pro 360. With the Levante Pro, we have that nice panoramic wraparound. We had some conversations with the, uh, the fine folks at XPG about there being some cool 3D effects that you can get with this. Like if you've ever been in a big city and you've seen like a tiger jump out of a LCD screen on the side of a building, they're working on software solutions to make that happen. Now these both are engineering samples, so what we're seeing right now is a teaser of what could be, but you're gonna wanna keep your eyes out for these. And what you're also going to want to keep your eyes out for are XPG's new air coolers. Okay, so we know we all need to get heat off of your CPU. And this right here is the conductor for cool. This is the Maestro from XPG. And it has a bit of a design that may look familiar if you're used to the air cooler space. We have a sweet digital display on here that gives you a readout of CPU temperatures, RAM speeds, etc. This has a digital panel that pulls directly off of the air cooler, showing a fan right in the center between the two heat stacks here. So really, really neat if you have a PC case that will help an air cooler thrive. We love this design and the readout on there, plus the RGB very stunning. Now, if the Maestro Plus is too chonky for you, they do have a smaller size, which look at that, look how cute it is. Now that last Maestro might be a mini, but this next cooler is anything but. Okay, so we have an AIO that is massive in every sense of the word. This is the Kraken Elite, and this is a 420 millimeter radiator on this thing. So if you need massive cooling for your CPU, this thing has got three 140 millimeter fans, and it's not the only thing that's massive about it. You gotta check out the LCD on this thing. It's a 2.72 inch LCD on this thing. It's beautiful, and it's got a, an RGB halo on it too. With this next AIO, I've gotta be honest, I almost walked by it. Okay, so we've got an AIO here from Bits Power, and if you're familiar with the name, they have a lot of components for custom loop liquid coolers, but we've got an AIO that looked really, really interesting that we wanted to show off once we saw it, because this thing has a super, super thin block for the, the CPU pump head here. And if you're somebody that really, really likes building small form factor PCs, sometimes you run into a situation where you, you have to make the call of, what do you take more space up with? The fans or the NAIO, a graphics card or cooling? And this really is one of those solutions that allows you to have a little bit of your cake and eat it too. Speaking of having your cake, if you want to talk about a caked up cooler, I'm not sure how else to describe this dummy thick AIO. All right, we're at the ROG booth and we just found the most rechonkulously massive AIO. This is the Rio 4 and this thing has a 6.67 inch AM OLED display on this thing. Look at this thing. Like it's as big as my hands and it stands off of the pump head also really, really tall. So this is not gonna be your small form factor uh, AIO, but it is definitely gonna make a statement. And look at this, check this out. The LCD actually slides back and forth. How cool is that? And if you're a sucker for those Arctic white builds, it comes in that too. It also brought some of our friends around, so this one gets a mention in here too. All right, I know that we've shown off a bunch of super fancy coolers and you might be saying, Damien, that's too rich for my blood. And listen, I get it. As much as I like all the fancy fancy in my builds, a guy's gotta eat too. Fortunately, we got to see an AIO from Fantex that when it comes to budget, this thing leaves zero crumbs. So we really love the Fantex Glacier One AIOs here at Robitech, but when we heard that Fantex was doing an LCD version of this, we started thinking, well, it's probably gonna be like any other LCD AIO that we've seen, but oh no, Fantix actually put this, what looks like a cell phone on top of this AIO. If you're seeing the positioning of this and you're worried about like RAM clearance or you're worried about having a, an IO block that you, you don't wanna cover up, the cool thing with this too is that you can actually slide this back and forth. So let's say you've got, uh, you've got some nice RGB RAM that you want to be on full display. You can slide it over. Or let's say you've got one of those fancy pants motherboards where you've got words of affirmation running across the, uh, the screen. You can pop it over to the side too. Pretty handy and it gets better. You're probably thinking this thing is gonna break the bank. 
for this AIO. And this thing has a 720p resolution on this screen. It's like having a cell phone on top of your CPU block. There were so many coolers that we got to see, but if you stick around here at Robitech and Robitech Live, you should be seeing these in live streams, reviews, and more. And if you like this format, you should check out our PC case video, which we mentioned a little bit earlier on. But as we wrap this one up, we wanna know what you think. Which cooler was your favorite that we listed? Was there one that you saw from other outlets covering Computex that, that we missed? And if you were building a PC, would you use one of these coolers? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're down there, go ahead and slap that subscribe button, whip that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you get a notification each and every time we post a video like this one right here on Robitech. And if you wanna continue the conversation, talk about questions like that we ask in videos like this, share about your favorite cooler from this video, or ask questions of your own, go ahead and head over to discord.gg slash Robitech. It's an amazing place to talk with other tech and PC enthusiasts about stuff like this. And hey, you know what? You might just make a friend while you're there and we could all use more friends. And make sure that you follow us at Robitech on all of your favorite social media platforms. And if you made it this far into the video, I wanna say a huge thank you for sticking with me through this one. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.